Kentucky, Denver, Colorado, the great KNUS country. How are you? Hi, Mark. I'm fine. Sorry, I almost missed you there. Um, All right. Uh, you know, I wanted just to talk to you about, you know, you're talking about um, these rhinos or what have you. I know you're not last caller about this stuff, but it, it seems like they don't understand, you know, we're the reality out here, and they're sort of just playing with our lives. Um, how do we, how do we get these people out? And how it seems sort of hopeless. You know, we're grassroots, but every time we put someone in there, they blow it. Well, you know, people who listen to this show, the how do we do stuff, it's a little frustrating to me because I spend an enormous amount of time talking about it. Uh, some of the people we've partnered with who, uh, who are uh, supportive of this program, I'm supportive of them, like the Tea Party Patriots, among others. We offer all kinds of ways for people to become active. There's, there, there's really no simple way, and it's not going to happen overnight. Um, there are things you can do if you want to, different levels of involvement. I mean, in addition to donating money, if you even have money to donate, you can donate a little bit of time, five minutes a day. Um, you can read things, talk about things, uh, like at Thanksgiving or other occasions. Uh, you know, be your Paul and Paul at Revere, and that's fulfilling too, spreading the word. These are all important. But there is no simple answer to a complex problem like this. There just isn't. And everyone's not going to do it for us. We have to do it for ourselves. And more and more people have to get engaged. And while we elect people, and sometimes they're enormously disappointing, and I can give you a whole list of them, as I'm sure you can give me, Sometimes they surprise us and actually do what they say they're going to do, like Ted, like Mike, like some of these other people. And when they come under attack by the Mitch McConnells and so forth, you know, we should we should uh, help them. And so uh, Mitch McConnell's in the Republican primary right now. What's anybody doing about it? I suspect a lot of people aren't doing anything about it. Well, his opponent could probably use support, uh, things of that nature. There's a, there's a lot of things we can do. And even in our own lives, if you have children and grandchildren, they're your responsibility. Our kids are our responsibility. So, uh, you know, there needs to be an effort there, not just to raise them properly. I know we do that. But there needs to be an effort to really steer them in the right direction when it comes to how they think about their country, how they think about citizenship, how they think about politics and so forth. You know, that's our job. That's our responsibility. So these are the things we can do. Yes, it seems hopeless at times. Look at this Obamacare. I just laid out a scenario where the thing is not going to be repealed. Uh, but there are things we can do. And the reason I'm just saying that I wrote the Liberty Amendments is to address specifically you, Frankie, and millions of other people who say, what can we do, what can we do, what can we do? Find out who your state rep is, find out who your state senator is, and ask them, are you prepared to follow the Constitution, are you prepared to bypass what's going on in Washington, D.C.? Are you prepared to do these things, yes or no? And if it's yes, you support them, and if it's no, you oppose them. So there, there are still things we can do uh, at that level and so forth, uh, apart from just throwing our hands in the air. Right. Well, um, I know about Convention of the States. And um, that seems like a solution, of course. So you need to um, find out who your state rep is in Denver, who your state senator is, and you need to get on their case. Yeah, I think, I think there, there, right. there's a meeting December 7th. It's, it's just, it, you know, it's just the beginning at uh, Mount Vernon. It's called the Mount Vernon Assembly. And there are at least 26 state legislatures that are going to be represented, not formally, but state senators and state reps going, and now I've heard even more, who are going to begin talking about this process. We actually have one state, and there are others working on it, in uh, Indiana, where the legislature's already passed the rules for uh, delegates to be appointed and uh, what their mission will be uh, at, at such a convention, and it was signed by the governor. And so there are states that are, that are, that are even more conservative then Indiana, where these sorts of activities need to begin to take place, um, and, those, and those who live in blue states or states that are pinkish purple or whatever the hell the color is, 
uh, we need to not only fight in our states, but we can help people in other states. The point is the numbers, the numbers. We need two-thirds of the states. So it takes time. I get that. But I don't know what the alternative is. I can go on here and rant and rave and go on and on about this, that, and the other. Uh, but we can also try to find an answer. That's why I said earlier in the show, it's another host with a solution. Another host that gives a damn about a solution. No, in fact, I should say most, not all. They'll just keep plowing ahead, plowing ahead, arguing these things. I don't mind that. That's fine. But there are answers. I'll be right back. 